Hi everyone and welcome back to Melbourne Railway Videos. I'm here today at Penzance, which is at the end of the earth. Well, not quite. It's um, in the far southwestern tip of England um, and it's the end of the line. And we've got a couple of trains here. This Great Western Railway train on the left has its lights on, which makes me think that it's going to depart soon. Um, and I just came off this train on the right with a green livery. It's always been a dream of mine to come out here to Penzance, um, just because it's so far away um, from, you know, London and the rest of England. It's quite a long train journey out here, relative to the size of England. Um, really nice trip, by the way. I recommend it to anyone who's lucky enough to come across here. Um, there's some quite nice stretches in terms of scenery. There's even a section where you go beside um, the sea for a bit, which is pretty cool. Here's a look at the train that I got off. You can see it's quite streamlined. I think it's capable of 200 kilometers an hour. Maybe more, someone might have to let me know in the comments. Um, it doesn't hit those speeds for most of the route. Um, it does sort of outside London. I didn't take this train from London. I took it from um, Totnes to here, which is uh, significantly closer. But yeah, it just kind of crawls along at a much slower speed because the lines just can't take it. Just give you a bit of a look around the place. Um, so up here is the town of Penzance. It's not quite at the tip. There's a couple of other towns a bit further um, that way. But this is as far as the train comes and it's the main town. I imagine it used to be a fishing village. It got quite big. Um, now looking to the left, there's a bit of a bay. If you go far enough out that way, you hit the Atlantic Ocean. And now coming around this way, I'll just zoom in on it. This interesting little hill is St. Michael's Mount, which is a very famous tourist attraction. It's got a castle on it. Um, and there's a causeway which you can walk across to access it that sometimes gets cut off by um, the tide. So a lot of people come here to Penzance in order to reach St. Michael's Mount and this walkway which you can see people taking, that'll take you all the way around around the bay to reach St. Michael's Mount. It's about an hour's walk. And then looking in this direction is towards London and the rest of the UK. Um, you can get trains to Glasgow. I think you can even get a train from here to Aberdeen in Scotland, which is pretty incredible. It's the longest train journey you can take in the UK on a single train. Um, and yeah, it heads up this way. It goes through some towns like Plymouth and Exeter en route to London or Birmingham or wherever you're going. Now we're coming into the sheltered area. to the left hand side that nicely give it a coastal feeling and here's a bit more of a look at this end there's a waiting room cafe this train's going to depart in a few minutes so I'll stick around and film that so at least I've got some train action in the video it's going to Bristol by the looks of things this is the train that I got off, which is heading to London, Paddington. You can see some of the other trains, so some say terminates here, and there's one that's going to Leeds, which is quite a fair way away from here. So it's pretty well served here in Penzance. And it's departing. Such a sleek design.
just gonna board this train here and head back because I've got to go back unfortunately. Um, but thanks for watching the video. I'll give Penzance a nine out of 10 for its fantastic views and location. Uh, really recommend coming here. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.